two of the most recommended restaurants in Disney World are known for great food and a great quantity. But you can only choose one. How do you know you're not making the wrong choice? Hey everybody, it's Chris for All Ears TV and AllEars.net. Today we're putting two massively popular Disney World restaurants head to head in a battle that might break our All Ears team. That's right, we're debating the ultimate all you care to enjoy restaurants, Boma and Ohana. This list was compiled directly from you, all ears.net readers and social media followers who have joined the conversation to help your fellow viewers decide which of these dining experiences are worth a visit. First up, Boma. Boma is a buffet restaurant located in Animal Kingdom Lodge and is designed to look like an African marketplace. It features dishes and flavors from over 50 different African countries for breakfast and dinner. It's known for being a top favorite buffet restaurant and you don't need a park ticket to eat here. Reviewer Janelle B said, wonderful way to try many different foods from the continent of Africa. The choices are many and interesting. The restaurant is beautiful at the resort as well. This is such a hard question. I love the carved meats, the soups, and the breakfast at Boma, but I, I'm constantly dreaming about Ohana nudes and bread pudding. I wanna eat Ohana nudes, and I wanna wash them down with the corn chowder from Boma. Why are you asking me to pick? Here we go. Breakfast will set you back $29 per adult and $17 per child. And typical breakfast items include waffles, bacon, sausage, and omelets, as well as dishes like turkey babodi, deviled eggs with smoked salmon, and cinnamon raisin bread pudding. Dinner's $49 per adult and $29 per child. And dinner includes lots of bread and typical American foods like mac and cheese and chicken bites. But you can also try the Burberry chickpea salad, Senghalese Yasa style salmon, African spiced beef strip loin, lamb babodi, and oak roasted meats. You can also choose from a variety of South African wines. I was gonna say it's an easy pick, but it's not, is it? Cause you got zebra domes at Boma at dinner but you also have those incredible sticky rolls, those pecan sticky rolls at breakfast at Boma. But at Ohana, you've got the iconic bread pudding. I wanna put a sticky bun on the bread pudding and then top it with a zebra dome and then smother it in that caramel sauce. That's what I want. Animal Kingdom Lodge can be a bit of a hike if you're not staying at the resort, but breakfast is not super pricey considering it's an all-you-care-to-enjoy buffet. Plus, when you're done eating, you can check out all the views of the savannah. Now for dinner at Boma, you are going to have a buffet-style restaurant just like you are at breakfast, and you're going to have an assortment of different African-inspired dishes. A few of my favorites, I really enjoy the Durban chicken, as well as the African spiced beef strip loin, which is really, really yummy. They have a bunch of different carved meats that you can get, um, as well as I love the pita that you can get with hummus. It's just, oh, it's really, really delicious. <laughs> Reviewer Feathered Buddy said, the choices here were wonderful. This is a food experience that never disappoints. Boma always ranks right up there with the signature restaurants for food quality. The staff is always very helpful and attentive. The pros. You get an incredible breakfast at a fairly good price point for Disney World with your choice of carved meats and soups and zebra domes. Nuff said. The cons. The Animal Kingdom Lodge location is kind of far from most of Disney World, and if you're not into buffets or adventurous eats, then this probably isn't the place for you. Before we take our next trip down Noodle Lane, hint, head over to All Ears Socials on Facebook and Instagram for more Disney World throwdowns and allears.net to leave your reviews for everything Disney Parks related. Hotels, restaurants, rides, festivals, pools, and so, so much more. Your opinion is what makes allears.net the go-to website for Disney fans and trip planners around the world. So be sure to check out the site right after we talk about Ohana. 
Heading into the heart of OG Disney World, our next stop is at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort for Ohana, a family-style, all-you-care-to-enjoy Polynesian-themed breakfast or dinner. Although this used to be a character dining spot, it's not currently being offered, but Ohana remains a favorite Disney World dining spot. Here's the thing about Ohana. I know a lot of people go for the meat sticks, and I appreciate you, and I see you. I go to Ohana because I like the sides and the desserts. I love that bread. I love the nudes, obviously. I love the wings, the pot stickers, the, even the salad's great. And then I love that bread pudding with the caramel sauce on it. I also will say, and the meat sticks are delicious, don't get me wrong. I also like family style or over buffet. I like someone coming to my table and bringing me a platter of food as opposed to having to get food off the same thing everyone else is getting. So I like the style of Ohana better. The hype about the noodles is warranted. They're incredible and guess what? They're plant-based. That's right, air horn. Wah, 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 wah. So I get to eat the noodles. They, in my opinion, are worth the price of the entire meal just to have those. I love the Ohana noodles, plant-based. Did I mention they're plant? They're plant-based. Reviewer Like Wonderland said, Beautiful location at the Polynesian, endless delicious food, pog juice, need I say more? Breakfast at Ohana is $25 per adult and $14 per child, and you can choose from both American dishes and Polynesian flavors, like Ohana pineapple bread, ham with pineapple, I feel a theme here, and tasty breakfast skillets. Dinner is $55 per adult and $33 per child, and dinner dishes include grilled teriyaki beef, spicy peel and eat shrimp, honey coriander chicken wings, and of course, Ohana noodles. They're also known for their, enter the theme, pineapple coconut bread pudding. I want, okay, I want an Ohana chicken wing, and I want to like wrap it somehow in the, in the steak they carve at Boma, and I want the whole thing drenched in the Boma mustard. The steak from Ohana, I want to wrap it in, I want to put it and a shrimp on a skewer, then roll that whole thing in the Boma mustard. So if I absolutely had to pick, I would probably say I would go to Boma for breakfast and then Ohana for dinner because I love the chicken wings and noodles. But that being said, I think that Boma does stand out for its atmosphere because you are at Animal Kingdom Lodge where you get, without a park ticket, you get to see all of these animals around you. Um, and you are also going to get a meal that is different than a lot of what you're going to find at any theme park, including Walt Disney World. It's going to be a very unique meal and setting. And so for me, as much as I love Ohana as well, Boma does win in that area. I think that the atmosphere ultimately pushes it over the edge for me. Ohana has a convenient location near Magic Kingdom and it's also on the monorail line, which makes it easy to get to from several locations. Breakfast is even less expensive than Boma's, but dinner is more expensive. And there's no character dining or option to browse the buffet. Reviewer John Salilo said, We tried this based on all the hype we've read and viewed online and it didn't disappoint. The peel and eat shrimp are outstanding. The salad and dressing is fresh and bright and the noodles and wings are simply mouthwatering. This place is now a must do on every trip to Disney World. Maybe some boboti on the side? Stop! Ooh. The pros? Ohana has a great location near Magic Kingdom with desserts that are elite. Oh, and the nudes. The cons? You're looking at a pricey dinner at Ohana. The plant-based options are not exactly ideal, and it's really hard to get reservations. Before we reveal the best adventurous buffet in Disney World, give us a like, click on that thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video. And if you really want to be part of the fun, join our community on social media at AllEarsNet. Got it? Good? On we go.
If you're looking for a great out of the ordinary buffet in Disney World, the winner of this restaurant debate, according to all ears readers, is Boma. With a rating of 8.80 compared to 8.28. That is so close because they are both delish. But Boma's the winner. How would you vote? Let us know in the comments. For now, I've got to go calm the cast. This is Chris for AllEars.net. See you next time. I'm a silent film performer now. <laughs>